many, many times. And, and I've witnessed it myself many, many times is that, you know, bears can sound smart or, or you know, pessimists can sound smart, which, you know, <laughs> equates to more bears, but the yeah. bulls are the ultimate ones who, who usually get rich. It's because they, you know, they just remain up. Crypto is a space where you can build anything. It's easier to do when you're involved with good people. I, I, I love the heck of gift. I love Richard Hart. I, I love the attitude of like um, building it, you know, for the people. You take that first step to invest in yourself. Um, that, that is really the start of a, a new life for you. Right now is the opportunity for everybody to be at square one, you know, uh, for the genesis. Yes, guys. Oh, yes. Warm welcome to Crypto 7. I'm feeling really pumped today. I've had my three cappuccinos this morning. and I'm just feeling really revved up, but really revved up in terms of the crypto market as well. And I, I've just got a funny feeling and I can't even put my finger on it. But I just think that, um, I mean, there are tons of t t tailwinds for crypto and for Hector and Pulse Chain. And there's tons of things and macros and micros and reasons to be bullish. But I just feel bullish today. And as, as a, sentiment, a sentiment analyst guy in the space, I think that's just worth sharing as the experienced 
seasoned weathered crypto pro i'm sharing my sense with you it's just it's just a gut feeling it's gi analysis it's nothing more i am pumped please put some sevens in or say something or um let me know if you fed the neighbor's cat which is saying something isn't it yeah 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 they're brilliant so uh, let's see what we can do today um i think i've been trying to reduce my view numbers as much as feasibly possible the last couple of weeks by either taking meme coin founders to task or running the same thumbnail every day and um i don't i don't like being average and i don't like being invested in average cryptos which is one of the frustrations in hex and pulse chain so i'd rather nobody watched or i had more views than everyone else but don't give me the middle ground okay so if you're watching make sure you're subbed and, and tap the bell i think probably it would be make more sense if i aim to be the biggest hex and pulse chain streamer and not the smallest but last week or two i've sort of been enjoying seeing how much I can dumb my view numbers down to. We're below 2,000 a stream currently last few days, and uh, we've never been that low since we started the channel. So um, it's, it, I suppose it's um, a delicious irony or juxtaposition that at the very cusp of life-changing gains for anyone invested in crypto now, at the very brink of monaco money for people and it's a once in a lifetime opportunity it's once in every person's lifetime opportunity there'll be never opportunity like this again there won't be an opportunity like this again for a hundred years 200 years a millennia and yeah oh you know okay sub counts are down and everyone's down and honestly it's 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 bizarre maybe and maybe that's the sign maybe that's the sign as a sentiment guy maybe it's the sign when everyone starts to chuck their toys and rattles out of the pram then maybe that is the sign that things are about to pop off. And there are reasons why things are about to pop off. We've only got 41 people watching now. Please just repost if it's safe to do so. If you're not up a tree, chainsawing. If you're not driving a driving a heavy goods vehicle, please just try to repost on X if you're on X. I'll talk briefly about X and things. We've done a change of uh, channel name here. We've done a change of channel name. I've noticed that um, the reason for the change of channel name, there's... Um, People have just stopped listening to Richard Hart, and the latest is some of this aggressive uh, marketing by the meme coin guys is um, is sniping at Richard Hart. It's taking shots at Richard Hart. So I thought, well, okay, then that's one way to go. That's one way to do it. It's one way to get attention, isn't it? To criticise Richard Hart, the guy who raised twenty seven million for charity. The other way to go would be to just to say, listen, I'm not as clever as Richard Hart, so let's just uh, let's just go with what Richard Hart's saying. I can't really see the point being in the community if you're not listening to Richard Hart. And I mean, really, in my lifetime and things, there has to be a leader. If you haven't got a leader, then uh, you're not going to get anywhere. You know, you can't uh, you can't make uh, decisions, tough decisions, quick decisions without some sort of leadership structure. And whatever you're in, whether it's a football team or a business or um, or a large a large restaurant in the kitchen. You've got to have a leader. There's got to be a boss. I thought Richard was a boss. So I'm. So here we're going to say that Richard's a boss. Other people want to say I'm the boss. If other big hex streamers want to say I'm the boss or so and so's the boss, fine. Good luck to you guys. But I'm going to go with Team Richard because we know on Crypto Seven that we're not as clever as Richard Hart. We're clever enough to know we're dumber than Richard Hart. Some people are dumb enough to think they're cleverer than Richard Hart. I got that right the first time, so I'm not going to say it again. If you didn't follow that, just, just replay, please. Fantastic. Smash up the likes. I am buzzing today. We've only got 52 people out the gate, and this is a byproduct of where we are in the sentiment, and it's also a byproduct of me using the sum, sum, same thumbnail every day and um, uh, rattling, uh, rattling, r rattling people pushing meme coins and things who've got more founders than me on X and whatever else. You've you got the score. You've got the score. But there is so much to be bullish. Oh, one of my tripods has just mysteriously moved. There is so much. Maybe that was the ghost of Richard Hart there in the background. There is so much to be bullish about. I mean, did you know, for instance, I mean, we're all a bit despondent about the fact that PLS is just below the sack price and things. It was just over it, I think, yesterday and then below it again, you know. Did you know, for instance, that the, the RH ecosystem, the RH tickers are way outperforming most cryptos, most blue chip cryptos, or well, most cryptos in the top 100? I mean, some of the cryptos that Crypto Seven's invested in are getting absolutely mullered. They're getting absolutely mullered. So, did you know that? And okay, so if the RH cryptos are outperforming other cryptos just before we go on the parabolic bit of the bull market of the face melt of the first face melt of the first parabolic bit, the first mania bit, choose whatever term you like. I quite like the idea of mania. I think that gets the idea. We haven't had a mania phase yet. 
You might be thinking we have, but we haven't. It's a long, long bull market. Um, and I think it will be a long bull market. I think it's going to be an insane bull market. Yeah, we'll talk about that in a bit, I think, you know. So uh, let's hook up with some people while more people come in. We've only got 56 people watching. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm buzzing. I've been streaming every day. Once we get to 100 of these, I've committed that um, we're all going to be in a much, much better place where I'm going to refund you all financially. Just write to me at Crypto7 and I will refund you for your losses. If we're not if we're not in a much better place in, what's that, 96 days? 96 days. We're going to the title of the stream. We might be better, much better place in two weeks. And we'll talk about that. But first of all, we'll shout out some people. So Chris Bacon's in with the fire. He says, let's go. Absolutely, buddy. I've had my three cappuccinos today. If anyone wants to pay for them in a super chat, that would be grateful. I've got loads of super chats in the last stream. So that's fantastic. So diminishing viewers, but um, quality viewership. Uh, people, people, The people that are still watching are appreciating, you know, and I guess that's just how it goes. How do you, how people say to me, how do you make such insane gains in, in crypto? I guess the answer is because most people don't. <laughs> I guess the answer is because just when they should be buying more crypto, they are they are they are getting lured off to shiny objects and things. Um, yeah, I, I watched Miguel and some other guy last night, and they were saying he was saying, look, Miguel was saying, look, absolute worst case. PLS is going to four zeros in an eight, so about 20% lower than it is now. My absolute worst case. This guy is very, very good, very, very knowledgeable. He tends to be pretty good with his calls like that. Now, if you are within 20% of a 10,000x coin, if you're within 20% of the bottom or the local bottom of a coin that could, could easily do a 500, 1,000, 2,000x from here, you know that means that means instead of a 500x 20% off you might because you could have held on for for a zero, for four zeros and an eight which might come tomorrow and before we moonshot who knows that means you'd get 400x instead of 500x or um 800x instead of 1000x it's like we're so close to the <laughs> in other words it's a resoundingly good opportunity and it's beyond greedy to be thinking i want more pls but i want it to go lower it's just, it's, we're so close to the lowest it's going to go now. I heard Miguel was saying, I, don't, I just don't see it going down to its prior all-time lows. So forget that. You might, you might even be out there, particularly if you've been listening to all the nonsense on X and things, you might be out there thinking um, that um, we're going back to all-time lows or lower than all-time lows. Or, I bet there are people on X saying, I'm going to buy PLS when it goes to four zeros and a one, you know, the price that PLSX goes down to. I bet there are people thinking that or saying that, whether they'd even buy it if it went to that is another matter, isn't it? But it's greed. It's the opposite of, you know, when you've got your 10,000X and you don't sell because the party's raging. It's the opposite of that, isn't it? It's like, well, here's the opportunity. It's such an opportunity. Take it. I saw $80 Ethereum in 2019. I saw that as an opportunity. I took the opportunity. I took the opportunity and it got me Range Rovers and Porsches. I saw the opportunity and I took it. I grabbed it. <laughs> so take the opportunity now. If you're new to if you're new to Hex and Pulse Chain, take the opportunity now. Yeah, so change your channel name now. We're not Crypto7 anymore. We have a change of channel name. We are now Crypto7 Team Richard. And and basically what that means is we're not going to espouse things that Richard Hart is not saying. Now, I can forgive Hex streamers for saying things that are contrary to what Richard Hart was saying two years ago when he was streaming publicly with big channels and things. I completely can go with that because two years two years is an eternity in crypto. Two weeks is an eternity in crypto. We're saying here on this stream, it's two weeks to moonshot. Two weeks is an eternity. So if we get two years, so if it's something that Richard was saying a year ago, well, you, you're free, as far as I'm concerned, if he hasn't updated his view on something for 12 months, you're free to go against that view and still be Team Richard. But but if he's been saying things recently and you're going against it, then um, then um, for me, it's not really within the boundaries of Team Richard. And I'm not going sort of, we don't like you and we don't like you and this is how you've got to be. But I'm just saying how I am. And it's not, I'm, not, I'm not like sort of, I'm not going all sort of like virtuous and saying, you know, I'm not going sort of, sort of like extreme, extreme versions of the Bible. Sort of, no, 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 because this is what it says on page 26, chapter three, paragraph four. 
No, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, let's vaguely try and reflect what Richard's saying. Yeah, guys, we've got 68 people watching now. Let's see if we can get up to 69, eh? Who were uh, misses? Come on, baby, let's do this. Because the community have stopped listening to Richard because Richard said, I'm bullish on ink. So Crypto7 goes, Jesus Christ, what a signal. Bye, bye, bye. So I was buying the top of ink because Richard said he's bullish on ink, as far as I'm concerned, and I still am. <laughs> In fact, I'm thinking this morning, I really should try and find some money. This is the um, this is the most expensive Yamaha grand piano you can get. This is the one that's used in big orchestras. This is one that Elton John's got and Taylor Swift, people like that. This I, I could sell this. This is $30,000. I could sell this and buy $30,000 worth of incentive token. Yeah, I could do that. Now, you see, I bought incentive token at $9 because Richard said he's bullish on it. I'm very, very happy with my investment in Incentive Token, even though it's now half the price it was when, when Crypto7 aped into it and Richard Hart said he was bullish on it. Told you I'd had my three cappuccinos today. Because I see it as like I've paid double odds to get a seat on the train with um, a nice uh, breakfast and uh, drinks and, uh, and good-looking stewards and things and stewardesses. I just, fuck it, you know, I don't care. So, so the community has stopped listening to Richard. Don't tell me they haven't. Because Richard says, this is within, like, what, a couple of weeks ago? Richard said... I can't remember exactly what he said, but uh, I, I heard I'm bullish AF on, on my on my incentive token as it was going up. I'm fucking bullish on this. Okay, I'm fucking hell. I'm in then. I'm in. <laughs> it's gone down. What's that about? Why has that gone down? It's absolutely madness. Richard says the incentive token is a meme coin, and I'm bullish on my meme coin, and then it goes down. Uh, it's temporary. It's temporary, guys. You better believe it. You'd better believe it's temporary, baby. We are going to the moon. The only way that you can get really, 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 really rich in crypto is you've got to be the wrong side of sort of like, oh, shit, have I made a massive mistake here? And usually when I'm thinking, oh, my God, have I made a massive mistake here? Oh, my God, other things are going up and this isn't going up. Oh, my God, have I, have I made the wrong plays in this cycle? That's usually the moment when I'm about to get rich. And that's my experience anyway. I don't know about you guys. So Richard says, I'm bullish on the incentive token. The incentive token goes down. <laughs> Richard says, we don't need a sex. The community says, we do need a sex. And lots of people, much less clever than Richard, want to then tell me on X why, why we need a sex. I don't even get involved in it, but you can just see all these people tweeting, this is why we need a sex. Da, 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 da. Well, but Richard said, we don't need a sex. And you see, these people have got much less IQ than Richard, but they think their IQ is as big as Richard. They don't realize what's going on in the bigger picture. I mean, one thing that it could be, I'm not as clever as Richard, but one thing it could be, is that the one thing worse than the one thing much much worse there's something much much worse than not having a sex yeah who who can think what it is we've got 79 people watching now i'm absolutely buzzing i've just got a feeling i've woken up this morning incredibly bullish can you see it can you see it look can you see it in my eyes i am incredibly bullish there you go there's something much much worse than not having a sex and that is being given a sex and then having it taken away. And we've seen this before. You know, Janet Yellen writes to write, writes to an exchange and says, listen, um, we're not very happy about something. We're not very happy that you've got Richard Hart's crypto on your exchange. And um, there's two ways we can play this now. I can, I can send this Securities and Exchange Commission that I, who I've just given another $80 billion to to, to um, try to manage cryptocurrency. I can send them all down to see you. They'll be down in the morning, 5 o'clock, or just take him off. Now, that's going on. You might think that's crazy. That's going on. Um, uh, that's going on. Anthony Scaramucci, I'm going to talk about him later. Anthony Scaramucci, do you know who that is? That's the guy that famously was the White House press officer for 11 days before Trump sacked him. At the time, I thought, what a knobhead. He came across, I think he was just, um, I don't know. Uh, he, 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 he managed to get sacked in 11 days, and he's famous for that. But since then, he's recreated himself, and he is one of the best, one of the best proponents. He's, I'd, say, I'd put him in the top five proponents for cryptocurrency. He's up there with the likes of Michael Saylor, um, um, you know, Satoshi Nakamoto, who's been quiet lately, Crypto7. You know, he's up there, Richard Hart. 
<laughs> yeah, I've not heard from uh, Satoshi for ages. Um, he says some brilliant things. Anyway, I'm going to go talk about him anyway. Yeah, yeah, sorry, I remember what I was saying there. He was getting poison pen letters from Janet Yellen about their support for Bitcoin because they had a big trust before we got the ETF and they were keen on the ETF. They were getting threatening letters from her. So I think that's what these exchanges have got. Now, if Richard's thinking, okay, so I'm going to, Richard's got a plan. I think, I think everybody who still believes in Richard Hart understands that he's got a plan. I think that's probably, there's lots of things that will divide us, but anyone who's still got any faith in the RH tickers, I think believes that Richard's got a plan. Now, when, when people said we want to do a sex listing and, and Richard went, I've got this, I've got this. It was because he's got a plan. And that's one of the reasons why I love that. I love that the community have made noises and making steps to get a sex because, it, as I say, it flushed out the fact that Richard's saying we don't need one. And it must be we don't need one because he's got a firm plan. And lots of people are speculating what the plan is, right? So he's got a plan. Let, let, let's take that as red, okay? If you're watching Crypto 7, if you're one of the lovely 90 people watching Crypto 7, make sure you've tapped the bell and all that goodness. Make sure you're shared. Get your mum to watch. I don't know. Get the get the TV to subscribe to Crypto 7. Let's go. He's, he's got a plan, right? Where was I going with that? I can't even remember now. Damn it. I've lost my th I've lost my thread. That doesn't happen very often, guys. I've I've lost my thread. But he's got he's got a plan. Um <laughs> oh damn it, I've lost it. Oh uh, god, that's annoying. Um right, so what should we go for now? So we're dancing around a bit. So if you are just watching, I think I think I was talking about the Team RH thing, wasn't I? So that's why I'm going Team RH. And I mentioned the sex, I mentioned the incentive token, and the third one, which shows me that that the community is not listening, or the noisy minority on X are not listening anyway. I, mean, I think you get a very distorted picture. That's something I want to talk about today. I'm often thinking this, and I forget to say it in the streams. If you are on X, and if you're not on X, you're thinking, what's he talking about? And isn't this obvious? And, you know, I'm invested in crypto. I'm invested in Richard Hart's cryptos. And I understand that the wider crypto market's having some jitters at the moment as we try to break past the all-time highs of Bitcoin and things. And I'm happy in my investments in, in RH cryptos are up from the all-time low. What's the problem? But if you are on X, then you might be thinking, me more nervous. The third one is Richard said to be very, very careful of Ben Armstrong. He Not only did he tweet this, but he put it into his latest video, which had the camera on. Camera on and the uh, the background cover, cover, thoroughly disguised so that you couldn't work out where he was, but the camera was on. And he, and he usually, I think it was 45 minutes, 45 minutes video, he dedicated a few minutes to say, oh, careful with Ben Armstrong, guys, I know stuff, careful with him. And what happened? Well, the community started parading Ben Armstrong up and down the streets on our shoulders. The Messiah, the, the one. He's the one. He's the one. He, he's the one like Kwana Reeves in The Matrix. He's the one. <laughs> he's going to take us to the promised land. He is the new Messiah. I exaggerate. I'm being comical and things, you know, but I mean, it is quite funny. You don't need a sex. Yes, we do, Richard. What do you know? Watch out for Ben Armstrong. Hail Ben Armstrong. Hail Ben Armstrong. <laughs> the incentive token. I'm fucking bullish on my incentive token. Boom. Where's the fucking price gone then, you know? So don't tell me the community still listening to Richard Hart, but we're still listening to Richard Hart here. We're still listening to Richard Hart here. And the only way you can get mega, mega massive gains in a crypto is to be in a resurrection crypto, which is a crypto that everyone wipe right off. The crypto that everyone stops watching the channels that are still bullish on 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 Hex and Pulse Chain, like Crypto Seven, isn't it? Let's have a quick drink. Let's have a quick drink. Make sure you deploy the buttons whilst I have a quick drink. I'm going to see if I've got enough. Make sure you're subscribed if you haven't subscribed. Let's go. I think I was shouting people out, wasn't I? I'm um. I'm bullish AF. I've got the energy today, but it's um, but I'm not particularly focused. It's suddenly got this is typical of the UK. It's always freezing in here. I have to have the heater on until until I start streaming and I turn it off, you know. And now it's like fucking boiling. <laughs> Overnight, that's it. You've gone from cold to hot. That's that's the UK. Just annoying that is. So I can start complaining about the heat now. Brit the British love to complain about the weather. It's our favorite hobby. Well known fact. 
Barry Crumb, ADP, come on, guys. We've got Intrepid PLS Hex says morning all. Fantastic to see you. Nice to see Mr. Morley boys in the house. That's good to see you, buddy. And um, Crypto7 Team RH says pump today. Repost, please, and share. Let's go. Saab's off to Monaco. Absolutely. Let's do this. Let's do this. Andy Gibson says, let's have it. See what you want, says morning seven. Mr. Crypto JSY says, let's go. I'm putting you guys all up in lights as well. We've got we got Shadow Cyborg has put in a seven. Eric Mezerf has put in three sevens. Appreciate you guys. You're both up in lights. Archie S, you're up in lights as well. Cheers. Hexagons lost in Asia. You're Hexagon lost in Asia, rather. You're up in lights as well. Um, yeah, ADP says a very windy UK here. I'm mega windy. Mega windy, mate. Mega windy. It's um that's global warming. That's global warming, baby. I hear I hear they've found great work white sharks off the coast of um the UK. I'm just going on what somebody said in a stream a couple of days ago. I haven't had time to verify that. I'm gonna catch J what JW, yes, go JW, the main man, JW, my friend JW. He says, finally I can catch a live one. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Bring in the energy. Major hexagon J JW. Mr. Crypto JSY, tangent stream finished. Tangent stream finished. Was he just streaming? Oh, good, good. I don't want to overlap tangents. He's he's a legend, isn't he? <laughs> Cheers says, try playing golf in the wind. It's brutal. I, I imagine it's completely brutal. Imagine it's completely brutal. I imagine it's my, it would be my best chance of getting a good score, though, versus other people because I don't, I don't play golf. So I, I imagine it's totally random, isn't it? I mean, yeah, you can anticipate a bit. I used to do shooting and things, and you do have to factor the wind. So I suppose it's a bit like that. Yeah, you, yeah, you would be able to factor the wind probably quite. Yeah, it comes down to who can factor the wind the best, doesn't it? And um, if you try to ignore the wind, then I imagine you're going to go no, nowhere near the um, nowhere near the fairway. <laughs> Jury NATO says happy, but by the dip Sunday, by the dip Sunday, absolutely, I think so. This is what uh, Miguel from Dolicos Crypto is saying. He's saying by the dip. This is this is a great opportunity. I think that has to be right. We'll talk. We'll go to that in a second. Over two weeks, reasons for two weeks. So yes, uh, double time on the intro. Ash, yeah, double time. Sorry about that, guys. I was just, uh, I just wasn't quite ready. So when I'm not quite ready, you'll see me like replay the 30 second thing and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. Ash, we got Robert online. Out to Mr. Crypto GSY. Out to Brigadierez. Out to Gloria. Nice to see you, Gloria. Out to Barry C. Says, I need to move to Monaco. I've barely seen the sun since November and it's been raining almost every day. Yeah, it's been brutal. It's been brutal. But um, I think I've got a funny feeling it's going to be a good summer. DJ and Hexagon says, can't sleep, finally caught a live stream, 5.30 a.m. Well, brilliant, brilliant. 5.30, that's, that's about the time I normally wake up as well in the UK. Great. Thanks for coming in, DJ. Nice to see you in the house. Um, please share with um, 5.30, so it's probably you're probably in the US then. Please share with your lovely American friends. Let's get this. Let's get this watched. We've got 110 people watching now. That's much better. That's not bad for a Sunday. Not bad. We're getting, we're getting back up there. We're bringing the energy. People are noticing. People are liking. The algorithm's noticing. You know, the algorithm's noticing. Google's noticing. Let's do this. Um, yeah, so um, Gloria's saying I'm team ARH, brilliant. Yes, that's right. We're team RH here. It doesn't mean it doesn't mean that we're going to get the pitchforks out and we're going to start getting upset when people say something which isn't totally aligned with what Richard's saying. Or if you don't believe in everything Richard's saying, you're not welcome here. And we're not going like that. But I'm just I'm just pointing out that most people in the no, I've made the mistake again, haven't I? It's a noisy minority on X that give you it gives you a distorted image of exactly what's going on. I think I started talking about this earlier. God, I am bouncing around a lot. Gosh, maybe, maybe I've maybe I've had too much coffee. I might have had too much coffee. Can you ever have too much coffee, guys? I don't know. Yeah, what I'm trying to say is taking the temperature of the community off X is a bit distorted because you get a noisy minority. Firstly. Not everyone's on X, which is something that seems to be lost to most people. Secondly, it's the noisy minority that get heard on X, you know? Even though I'm not sort of in those sorts of necks of the woods, even though I'm not, you know, hanging out with all the uh, meme coin founders and things, I'm still just getting my feed filled with stuff, you know? I've talked about the dick butts thing. It's funny, actually, because... We looked at the price chart of dick butts yesterday and um, 
I pointed out it's gone down 90% since the high and it was hanging on for dear, dear life where it was. And I said it could bounce from here or it could more likely go down. And it looks like a C7 hater, probably someone like Hexy Barson, has pumped it up because it went up 30% after my stream. And I was like, well, that's definitely somebody. Because it's got like it's got like eleven thousand dollars liquidity, which you know, you know, I, I I spend that in a weekend. That's not um that's not liquidity. That's eleven thousand, you know. You know, most most hexagons tip more than that. That's ridiculous. So, you know, but it's quite silly. Somebody bought two thousands worth, you know, when you've got eleven thousand liquidity or whatever, it's gonna go up a lot. So anyway, some it looks like someone's done it. Um, you can imagine some dreadful some dreadful person has taken off a little bit of the massive amounts they got off you in their sacrifice to pump it up because I said, you know, steer clear. But but that also happens. I should have mentioned that in my my analysis of dick butts is that, you know, it goes it goes up aggressively and then starts to come down as the people that got in at the beginning, you know, fell on your heads. But then what you normally then get is, is, is a rally at some point before it completely goes to zero, which then encourages people to, to get back in. So it's like a it's like the double scam. You know, it's it's uh, the double scam thing. So. Anyway, but that's that's what's going that's what's going on there. Anyway, we're not we're not going on about meme coins. Why would we be going on about meme coins? Fugli says seven. What's your opinion on the guy who owns 140 million USD in Pulse? Do you think he can dump and send the price down like Somi says? I, I've not I've not seen that. I've not heard that. I I try not to get over exercised about stuff like that because. If you, if you do the on-chain analysis for any crypto, you can get completely paranoid about that sort of thing. And the person that wants to sell, the person that, there'll be people watching this right now. There'll be one of, some of the 106 people watching right now. If I said to you, listen, I'll give you 10x, I'll give you a 10x on your PLS and hex right now, but you've got to piss off and go and that's it. You can't get back in. And But I, I will 10x your money right now for you. But that's it. You, know, you you can't play in the Richard Hart Pond anymore. That's it. There'll be quite a few people that would say yes to that. But when we do the 10x, they won't want to. They won't want to. If I went up to these people then and said, you know, when we've 10x from here, hey, can I buy your PLS at the price it is now? <laughs> or a little bit more, or even or even twice as much, or three times as much. Those same people that would take the 10x now will say, no. I'm enjoying the party. I'm on the ride. I'm going to the moon. Get lost. No, Crypto 7. I don't, no, I'm not selling all my PLS and Hex for twice what it's worth now because I'm, I've am i got conviction now. I'm much more confident now of the 50X and the 100X and the 5,000X and whatever whatever these good-looking hate streamers will be saying at the time. So it's quite interesting. So, so that's why I don't, I don't worry about it too much because what – what people are willing to sell at now isn't what people will be willing to willing to sell at in the future when we start to when we start to moonshot and uh, and maybe this is a good time to be talking about the two weeks now thing because it's it links to this. So there's a couple of really good narratives going on in Hex and Pulse Chain at the moment. First of all, first of all, we've got the halving, which is two weeks away, and secondly, we're up to we're two weeks from the the fifty weeks to shake out the weak hands. So there's two strong narratives here. So that should Hex and Pulse Chain start to moon in two weeks' time, should we leave those sacrifice prices behind forever, not just in PLS, but PLSX from two weeks from here, then people will go, okay, well, this is what Richard said, isn't it? He said 50 weeks to shake out the weekends. And oh, look, it's the halving. So, you know, we know we know that the, the face-melting bit of the bull market really starts after the halving, so that makes sense. And a rising tide lifts all ships, including the Hex and Pulse Chain ships, so that makes sense, and that makes sense. And look at all these other cryptos. But, um, yeah, yeah, so could we be two weeks away? We could, we could easily be two weeks away. Um, it feels like... It feels like we've had enough time now for the uh, community to ruminate on um, on Richard Hart's leadership and things, and for enough people to see the opportunities. I mean, it is a complete it is a complete con or um, an illusion. That's a better phrase. It's a bit all this meme coin mania stuff. It's a complete, particularly in Pulse Chain, it's a complete illusion because people are talking about gains in cryptos like i mentioned earlier about dwb with $11,000 of liquidity i think it's up to $12,000 this morning 
Yeah, it's just nonsense. It's just nonsense when there's hundreds of millions of dollars worth of liquidity on PLSX, etc. You know, it's just nonsense to be talking about that. It, it, it's just, it's scammy, isn't it? It's scammy, you know. And uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, going back to the sort of the bullish narrative and things, and I certainly have bounced around today. I do apologize, guys. So. And this goes to the two weeks thing as well. So one way to identify currently all cryptos are pulling back. There's a great nervousness in the market, which is really interesting to me. So Bitcoin 69 and a half thousand now, which sounds like a lot because it is a lot. And even if I say it, I get quite excited. Even as I say it, I get some tingles lower down. 69 and a half thousand Bitcoin, two weeks from the halving. Oh my God, this bull market is going to be insane, guys. But the altcoins are really nervous. And some of the some of the cryptos that I'm in have been really, really, they've really had their pants pulled down, guys. I honestly feel like I've had my pants pulled down here. Aptos was $17, $18 like 10 days ago. It is $13.20 this morning. $13.20? That's ridiculous. Other, other new layer ones as well. Polygon, which is a layer two, I think. But I mean, it's that's that's had its pants pulled down as well. Really been rogered by this bear, not bear market. We're not in a bear market. What am I talking about? Bear market. This bearish sentiment, this sort of nervousness. And let, because we've got because we talked about this yesterday, but nobody saw the stream yesterday. I'm going to talk about this a bit. But for the people that heard me talking about Nasdaq yesterday, I'm going to go on a different angle. So this will be this will be fresh information for you. So let, let, let's share this tab now. So, so yesterday, and just as a refresher, that's a stage. You've got it now. So yesterday, and just as a refresher, we talked about we talked about the massive correlation between Nasdaq and crypto, and how this is the only thing that I'm watching closely. This, this is the only thing that could could really end the party early, and we just need to be careful of. I mentioned that um, the correlation is so strong that if you see here, 26th of November 2021, the top of Nasdaq was the top of Bitcoin. And it even shows the top for HEX because there, September 2021, you see this is NASDAQ where I'm moving my cursor here. That's the HEX top. You, you can even see the HEX top in NASDAQ and then you can see the Bitcoin top in NASDAQ. And now we're going up. Now here, I mentioned yesterday, it looks like we could be rolling over. And this is what's making people very nervous. Is this is why Polygon and Aptos and many, many other cryptos have had their pants pulled down, guys. Not just... Oh, this is a bit frustrating. I came here to get rich in Hex and Pulse Chain, and I'm not getting rich. And Dick Butts is going up, and I'm not happy. And uh, B Roots says it's all about meme coins, and so does George from Cryptoras. It's all about meme coins, apparently. They're the, they're, the, they're the ones that are making the most gains. It's not actually correct, that, by the way, but um, we'll do that another time. So bouncing around enough here, and then uh, I think I'm already bouncing around way too much. So... What we said yesterday, and I've sort of a way of distilling it, et cetera, is, is um, and this is why you watch Crypto 7, and this is why you subscribe to Crypto 7, because there's two big indicators for Crypto 7, and these are the two. You could basically throw away everything else. You could throw away all the TA. You could throw away all the sentiment, other sentiment indicators I've got. These are the two. It's when Coinbase is the number one download on the App Store. That's the time to sell. And it's when this collapses. If this collapses, that's the time to emergency sell. So these are the two ways that we know when it's time to sell. While the NASDAQ keeps going up, particularly while we're in election year, et cetera, if the NASDAQ's going up, we're golden and we're going to have a long bull market. We're all going to make insane gains and we're going to have streets named after us. We're going to have schools named after us, charities named after us. You get the idea, okay? If it goes the way I think it's going to go. But we need to watch this. So crypto saying crypto seven is saying that you, the only two times you need to sell in this bull market is a when Coinbase is the number one download, or b or number two when Nasdaq crashes. Okay, when it, when we have a proper recession, I'm talking about a full fat recession, not a diet recession. I'm talking about the kind of recession which is a real recession and can't even be fudged to look like it's not a recession. When Nasdaq collapses, we are going down, baby. Because the thing is, and this is what I forgot to say, and just 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 for clarity and just for everyone to ponder on right now, 
Let's hold each other's hand and reflect on this. Whilst it is 100% the case that, that, that Bitcoin is correlated to NASDAQ, and we can see that here, Bit, top of NASDAQ, November 2021, Bitcoin top, November 2021. The second highest bit, September 2021, exactly when Hex topped. It's undoubtedly the case that crypto is correlated to NASDAQ, but it's not the case that NASDAQ's correlated to crypto. So in other words, you know, they're not watching, they're not watching us to see when they need to get out of uh, NVIDIA, um, Apple, etc. We need to watch them. If they collapse, we're stuffed. So it sounds quite easy. Okay, so Crypto7's told me all I need to do is watch for when the Coinbase is the number one download. It's not even in the top 200 at the moment, so we're golden, correct. And, and NASDAQ is currently still going up. People are getting a bit nervous because it looks like it's rolling over, but it looked like it was rolling over here. Did you see my cursor? And it looked like it was rolling over here, and it didn't. And what I'm predicting is it'll keep going up. Why? Because because politicians like to give sweets out in election year. We're in election year, so I think, I think it'll just keep going up. I think it, it'll keep going up. Uh, Jerome and um, Jerome and uh, all the and these the the U.S. president will get together and uh, Joe Biden and uh, and they'll make sure it's going up because they, they want the, he wants to stay in, et cetera, et cetera. You get the idea. The politicians, the politicians give sweets out in election year, so I think we're golden. Now, the way I say it, it sounds dead, dead, dead easy. Okay, so I know the two things I need to watch for. I won't say it again. So, um, but it's anything. It's going to be. It's going to be anything but. But this is why we are on this journey together. Because because when it comes, we need to be mentally prepared to take action. So there's two scenarios when we need to hit the sell button: hex and pulse chain, aptos, sui, whatever you're in, right? Both of them, quite obvious, quite easy to see, but incredibly difficult to do. The first one is when Coinbase is the number one download. So that is going to be when the party is raging. It's going to be like being in a nightclub, one of those VIP nightclub nights where they're giving out free champagne, free Red Bulls and vodka at the bar. There's dancing girls everywhere, you know, and uh, and and you've got to walk out the party. You've got to say, I'm going now. Don't go now, Crypto7. They're giving out free champagne and, um, you know, the girls are pouring pouring it into your mouth from their mouths and things. It's all going off. Don't go now. No, it's time to go. I know it's time to go because Coinbase is the number one download. And Crypto7 said that the last two bull markets, Coinbase was a top download in the two weeks coinciding with the top of the market. So I know it's time to go now. I know the girls are pouring vodka into guys' mouths. I know, I know, I know that I know the party's in full swing. I know I don't have to pick up the tab, but I'm leaving. I'm going home. I'm going to get hot cocoa. I'm going to put my feet up. I'm going to read a good book. It's time to sell. That's going to be really hard, guys. And the only way we're going to be able to do it is because we're going to make each other do it. And this is where you're, you guys are going to help me. We're going to make each other sell when Coinbase is the number one download, when the nightclub's giving out free champagne. Nobody's going to want to go. And you're going to be the only person in the nightclub that goes, I'm leaving now. Everyone's going to look at you like you're mad. You go, no, Crypto7 said this is the time to hit sell and fuck off. And this is what we've got to do. So that's going to be incredibly difficult. Trust me. Have you ever left a party where they're giving out free champagne? It's hard. Uh, I've never managed to do it. Anyway, enough about my life. Second one is um, when NASDAQ crashes. So that's going to be very difficult to sell as well because that one's going to come more suddenly. And what's going, that's going to be like, when NASDAQ crashes, it's going to be like the kind of response where you grab the parachute from under the, the, the airplane seat, you rush to the exit, and you jump out of a burning plane. It's going to take a lot of balls, a lot of courage, and a quick reaction. And, and very few actually manage to get the parachute on, don't they? And the, the plane's burning, it's, it's, it's zooming down towards the ground. You manage to get the parachute, you know, like in James Bond or something, and you manage to get to the exit and you manage to jump out and you've got the courage to jump out the burning aeroplane with your parachute. That's going to be really hard as well. It's going to require readiness and expectation, a willingness to sell. Um, it could happen tomorrow. Highly unlikely, but it could happen tomorrow. And if it did happen, would you sell? So Crypto7 said, when NASDAQ goes down, we're going down. Look how correlated it is. Look how correlated it is. You could practically overlay the Bitcoin and Ethereum charts with it. So we're going down. 
if Nasdaq crashes tomorrow, we're going down. Have you got the courage to jump out the airplane? Say, okay, I'm going to cut my losses and I'm going to sell. So if Nasdaq goes down, we're going down. Those are the two. Those are the only two. That's it. I thought I thought it was worth going back to that. So because those are the two big ones, we will keep we will keep finding different ways to explore those two topics until until not only you guys have got it, but I've got it as well. Because it's no good me just walk. Just no good me just talking the walk, but not walking the talk. I'm, I might be the guy that sits here going, "This is what you should do." I've done this before, by the way, because I end up people I advise, I end up making them more money than I make myself because they come they come with a blank canvas. They say, right, I've got ten thousand pounds to invest, ten thousand dollars. What should I invest in? And I say, okay, well, you want to go new layer ones, you want to go gaming, you want to go AI. I've come up with a nice little portfolio for you. Press button. They've always outperformed me because I'm still holding on to my Cardanzo. I'm still holding on to a bit of Polygon from a previous cycles. I'm still holding on to I've got some Ethereum. Um, yeah, it's, um, anyway, and of course I'm, I'm betting on Hex and Pulse Chain doing mad gains. And so currently they haven't. So you know, these people, I don't, I don't always get them into Hex and Pulse Chain. If you, they're new into crypto, it's not as easy to get. It's riskier. They're going to, they're going to hear things about Richard. And sometimes don't get me wrong. A lot of people I have got into Hex and Pulse Chain, uh, particularly latterly, but, um, Typically, what I find is I get people into crypto first in terms of the safe bets, um, things like Fetch AI, and people have done very, very well following my advice on. And I've been talking about Fetch AI all through the bear market, wasn't I? Um, render injective, sol solid cryptos like that. Um, and once they see that I know what I'm talking about, then I go, right, now I need to talk to you about Richard Hart. I need to talk to you about your hex and pulse chain. That's how I've done it. I've 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 got their confidence. I've got it to the point where they will just basically blind trust me. And then I say, right, okay, so we've we've done really well here. And I'll often remind them, by the way, uh, Fetch AI has been the top performer this week of all cryptos at period. You know, oh great. So oh, you do really need to do you know what you're talking about, crypto seven? And and then once once I've got them to that point, um then I say, listen, you, this is mad gains now. You've seen, you've seen nothing yet. You've got a twenty x here or thirty x there, but you've seen nothing yet. This is, this is, this is where we could make the insane gains. And it's, it's Richard Hart. It's Hex. It's Pulse Chain. Don't listen to what anyone else says. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I know no one to listen to you, Chris. And I go find Hex and Pulse Chain now. And that, that's how I'm finding to do it. 113 people watching now. How are you all doing? Fantastic, fantastic. I'm buzzing today. I may have had too much coffee today. I don't know. I don't know. I think may have had too much coffee. Um, really fired. I just feel really revved up. So if you're coming into the stream now, what I'm saying is I can't even put my finger on it. I just, I just feel like we're on the we're on the cusp now. I think we're really close. We're two weeks away because we've got two delicious strong narratives. We've got the fact that Richard's saying 50 weeks of shake the hey weekends, and that's two weeks off. And we've got the halving, and that's two weeks off. And we've got the fact that Hex and Pulse Chain have actually gone down a lot less than a lot of the cryptos that all the big channels are raving about, like Aptos and Sui and Say and Render and Injective and um, Solanzo. Yes, yes, yes. Did you know that? So if we've gone down less than all these other cryptos have gone down lately, and after all our self-inflicted FUD store, Maybe this is an indicator that this is the time to buy then, isn't it? You know, because that's what that's what they say. Watch for the cryptos that go down least in red weeks and red months, because those are probably the ones that are going to go up more in the green months. They're probably the ones that are going to be more green when we go green. Yeah, that's an interesting thought, thought, isn't it? And if you're immersed just in X and things, you won't even be aware of that. So let's um, let me show you now. But it is funny that. Um, Share this tab instead. So you should be able to see, you should be able to see crypto bubbles now. You can see crypto bubbles now. Now, if you if you look at the day, it looks pretty green, doesn't it? There's a lot of green there. There's a lot of green there on the day, but that is quite deceptive because if you look at the week, you get a better picture. Things have been down a lot. Like I say, a lot of my cryptos have had their pants properly pulled down. Look, there's Solanzo, massively down. Fetch. Pepe's down 
Aptos down 17.3% on the week, even after a green day. So, and this is because of, and this is because of this. This is because of this. It's because some people are getting scared. They're going, oh my God, we're going to crash. We're going to crash. And if we crash, then crypto is going to double crash. Crypto's, if, if we go down to here, then crypto is going down to here. So people are getting nervous. And it's weird. It's a weird time because we're $69,500. I think, I think a lot of cryptos, including Hex and Pulse Chain, were a lot higher when Bitcoin was less than 50K. We're sixty-nine and a half thousand dollars, baby, and and this is and this is this is where we're at. And it's because of this. So basically, you don't need to go on Go Pulse. You don't need to go on Crypto Bubbles. You don't need to go on Coin Market Cap. All you need to go on is Google. Go Google. Go Nasdaq chart. Watch that Nasdaq chart. If that goes up this way, can you see my cursor? If that goes up that way. We're all we're all halfway to Monaco. If that goes up that way, then we're all looking for a rope and a tree. So we don't even need to worry about what Richard's saying. We don't even need to worry about what crypto bubbles is doing. We know. We just watch this. Were you watching this? That's why you watch Crypto Seven. That's why you watch Crypto Seven, isn't it? Good stuff. Let's take that down now. How are we all doing? Let's let's see what's going on in the chat, and then let's uh, let's give you some more alpha. So you now know that the only two things you need to worry about it's when is Coinbase the number one download. It's not even in the top two hundred. We're golden. Where's Nasdaq? Nasdaq's fine. We're golden. But some people are getting nervous. There's talks of World War Three. People are getting nervous. There's um, there's other stuff there. So it's a bit of nervousness. And of course, we always see this when Bitcoin gets to its prior all time high. Before we go to the moon, baby. Before we go to the moon. We're on the verge of going to the moon. So, yeah, I'm really excited. Underestimate Richard Hart at your peril. Have 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 minimal exposure to his tickers at your peril. You know, you're going to have to endure us in seeing us in the lime green lim Lambos. Westcott is going to be probably in a in a black Lambo, I would imagine. Yes. Yes, yes. So that's how it's going to be. That's how it's going to be. What should we talk about now? I took, I made some notes. I made some notes. Probably should have followed them better. Yeah, we've done party and parachute. It's going to be too. It's very difficult to sell at the right time, even though we know when to sell at the right time now. But to keep that in mind. Um. There's lots of talk about PDI at the moment. I quite like to see that. I like to see the feeds being filled up by talk about PDI and PDI being going to a dollar and all this sort of thing. And I'd rather see that than than see the feeds on X being filled up with talk about dick butts and things. So, so I don't have a problem with that. That's all good. Um, I want to talk about just how good this bull market is going to be because something that we keep coming back to here is that how well we do, even if we're just in HEX or just in PLSX or just in the incentive token, is going to be down to a lot to how good is this bull market going to be? And I, I think the answer is much better than any of us can really get our heads around. So at certain moments, I can get my head around how good this bull market is going to be in my belief. Then at other times, I don't really fully appreciate it or I don't appreciate the impact that might have on our lives, for instance. I mean, even if you get your head around being rich, guys, do you realize that that means, you know, you're going to be at least three or four points more attractive to the opposite sex? Have you got your head around that? It means that you're going to have lots more friends. It means you're going to have to consider lots of different things. Who you tell, how you tell them, how generous generous you are to people. There's, there's, there's lots and lots of elements to it. And... Um, but it's very interesting. Oh, yes, I wanted to go back to Anthony Scaramucci we talked about earlier and the, the guy that was 11 days before he was sacked by uh, Donald Trump. He's a real mover and shaker in the crypto space, and he's been doing a lot to represent the, the opportunity to invest in crypto to Wall Street, to TradFi. 
And um, he's now saying an $8 million Bitcoin in this bull market. No, don't. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, mate. I know, guys. I know, mate. <laughs> I know, guys. I know, friends. It's mind blowing. But he wasn't saying that six months ago or a year ago. He's saying that, and he's not saying what most of these TradFi guys, most of these guys, like, um, uh, most of them are sort of saying what they think Bitcoin's going to be at in 2030 because TradFi deal in longer payback periods. So to people like Kathy Wood, she tends to give her predictions on Bitcoin to 2030. And that's interesting because that's a sort of investment payback period that a lot of these people are looking at. They're not going to go to all the trouble of getting into Bitcoin to just try to sell it 12 months later. But this guy, um, Anthony Scaramucci, is saying an $8 million Bitcoin in this bull market. Well, you know, that's <laughs> that's the highest I've seen so far. And, you know, the thing is, what you've got to bear in mind is he's, as I said, he's one of the top five most influential people in the crypto space because he's got the ear of all the superbly wealthy um, Wall Street guys. You know, he's got the ear of people like Larry Fink. He's already sold. He's he's converted. You know, you, you're, you're preaching to the choir, telling Larry Fink that Bitcoin's a good investment. He's he's out there preaching to everyone else now. But you know, you get what I'm saying. You get what I'm saying. So uh, Anthony Scaramucci is super, super well connected. And he's saying an $8 million Bitcoin, this bull market. Well, if that's the messaging that's going out to, <laughs> to all the guys with all the money out there, it's amazing. We've got, we've got the, the Prince of Dubai meeting the president of El Salvador. <laughs> what do you think they're talking about? They're not talking about their super yachts. They're talking about getting into crypto. I, I think it's going to be absolutely mental. Just as so long as that Nasdaq holds up, that's the thing. But um, I think I think it's for sure it's going to hold up for twelve months because uh, just like just like well, obviously you get the idea, guys. So the the US have the money printer and they can make anything happen for twelve months, and they will do because there's, there's an election in November. And they like to give out sweets in elections. So we're good for at least 12 months. In the bear market, I was talking quite a lot. And I, as far as I'm aware, I was the first to talk about it, about a left truncated cycle. I didn't have a posh name for it. I just said, I think this bull market could happen quicker. I just instinctively thought, well, listen, I know a bit about media and marketing. I thought, well, the media seemed much more warmed up. I was aware that I was aware that some of these big players like Anthony Scaramucci were, were, were on Fox and CNBC and things. And I just thought this is going to, the news is going to break quicker this time. I also just logically, as somebody who understands about human behavior and things, and um, I studied a bit in that area, um, you know, once somebody sees something a third time and a fourth time, they get it, you know. You know almost everyone gets something the third or fourth time it's shown to you. I mean, my, I had a dog that used to get things the third or fourth time it was shown to them. Um, so fantastic. Check my pulse has come in with a super chat. We'll read that out in a second. So I think that, um, the big mistake that everybody in crypto is making at the moment, and I'm including myself here, I'm including myself here is I think we're going to make a lot more money. So long as we don't frequent ourselves with the sell button, I think we're going to make a lot more money than, um, we can possibly get our heads around. And, and I think that certainly extends to the RH ecosystem. So I think now that the bull market will go well into 2025, as, as it should do, and you know, as the, the, the cycles would suggest it should and would, uh, and the election year cycle as well. It's not just the, you know, a lot of people, a lot of people say that the crypto cycle, four year cycle is actually more to do with the election four year cycle in the US than it is to do with the uh, adjustment of the Bitcoin mining algorithm. Did you know that? So um, probably did because I've said it before. You guys watch my channel. So um, yeah, so we're probably only four months into the two-year bull market. So you've got the one-year bloodshed year, the bear market. You've got the two two year two is recovery year. That was twenty twenty-three. We're only about four or five months into the bull market. Twenty-four months bull market. 
there's even an argument we could go on a bit further because we've got so many tailwinds. Possible, possible. So uh, if we're only four months into a 24 months bull market, there's so much time. There's so much time for us to get insanely wealthy at Hex on Pulse Chain. We don't even need a third of that. We only need a few months. You know, we've got a few months. Now we've got 20 months. Or six months. Now we've got 20 months. Or 12 months. Now we've got 20 months. We've got tons of time to get insanely wealthy in Hex and Pulse Chain. Tons and tons of time. And maybe that's why we're not yet. Some, th some cryptos have, have jumped the gun, like Solana, because of their meme coin stuff and whatever else. Um, just some clever marketing as well. Uh, putting uh, meme putting meme coins for free on their Solana phone was uh, genius marketing. Just just Oscar winning marketing. That is that's just off the scale. Good that is. I mean, how clever is that? Everyone wants the Solana phone because it comes with free bonk, and the bonk's worth more than the fucking phone. Marketing genius. Marketing genius. Everyone's going around at parties waving their Solana phone. So, yeah, a lot, a lot of things. They've got a lot of VCs in Solana that are using their influence to drum up the price first. So we've seen some go off first and things, and there's some strong nar narratives around AI and gaming, which we talk about here. But Hex and Pulse Chain, they are perfectly positioned. We know that Vitalik Buterin recently was saying that they're not worried about fixing their gas fees because they think it's quite good because it adds to their security. Stops people spamming the chain, Vitalik's saying now. Well, hello. Can you imagine? When we were all so bullish about Pulse Chain in the bear market, one thing we all said was, well, if Ethereum does fix their gas fees, that would take the wind out of our sails to some extent at least. No, we didn't go as far as to say, oh, that means that Pulse Chain will be worthless because Pulse Chain was still going to be even cheaper. So whatever they did on Ethereum benefits us on Pulse Chain and we're less crowded than Ethereum. So we were always going to have that advantage. But but the the need for Pulse Chain would have gone down a lot if they'd fixed the gas fees. So now Vitalik saying we're not going to fix the gas fees. The gas fees are good. The gas fees are a feature. They're a feature, not the bug. Vitalik's saying, well, tell the kids in the coffee shop they've got to pay $150 to buy a, to buy, to buy a meme coin or, um, or any crypto and $400 to stake and another 500 to unstake. You can't. They're just not going to do it. So, And that's why Richard Hart... I mean, did Richard Hart know that, by the way? Did Richard Hart know that Vitalik was going to come out and say we'd, we'd, we're not going to fix the gas fees? Or we don't think we should fix the gas fees? Did Richard know that when he said, um, listen, you know, we should be focused on Hex on Pulse Chain now, not Hex on Ethereum? You know? Does Richard know that the worst thing about getting a sex listing is having a sex listing and then taking it away from you? Because that's a PR disaster. So what do you think happens, right? If uh, the Pulse Chain Foundation managed to raise the couple hundred thousand or whatever it is to bribe the, sorry, to... Uh, to fund the uh, sex listing. What happens then if two months later, just as we are starting to get going, Elizabeth Warren gets on the phone to that sex and says, All right, there's two options here. I've gone through this, haven't we? So I won't say it again. And then we get pulled. You know, you've got, you've got your James from Investment Answers and, and Peter Schiff and everyone else, Eric Wall and everyone else who hates Rift should will be coming on going, see... Hex and Pulse Chain have been pulled from this exchange. Just as we get going, oh, we got pulled from an exchange. It's much worse, much, much worse than not being on the exchange at all. Much, much worse. It's a PR disaster, this is. They're probably rubbing their hands. The regulators are probably going, oh, look, the Pulse Chain community. Somebody might want to clip this. Uh, I just think that's probably what's going on. As I say, if people want to spend money on that, go ahead, but... Probably the regulators are rubbing their hands going, go on, go on, Pulse Chain Foundation, go on, Crypto Coffee. You raise 150 grand, 250 grand, whatever it is. 150 grand usually turn into 300 grand as well, by the way. You raise that money, get the listing, and just as you start to get some PR tailwind on that, I'm going to completely fuck you. 
I'm going to completely wreck you by 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 telling that exchange to, to they can either pull or we'll have the SEC down there in the morning. Of course they're going to pull. That's what's going on. That's what's been going on. Richard knows this, and this is why he's saying this. But like I say, I'm just speculating because I'm not as clever as Richard. I'm clever enough to know that I'm dumber than Richard. There's too many hexagons that are too dumb to know they're not as clever as Richard. I think I said that right, but I'm not that clever, so we know that. Put a seven in if you're not that clever. Put a comment in saying if you're not as clever as Richard Hart. I did a survey on this, actually. Let's let's read out Check My Pulse's very generous super chat. By the way, I've made a commitment, everyone, that every super chat from now until Bowlsworth International, this major show jumping event, which I'm trying to raise just 15,000 sponsorship for, every super chat, the money is going to that, guys. So if you like the idea that people can see that you've you've made a contribution to something, uh, and it's a nice reminder for me as well. I, I initially said, listen, don't do super chats because YouTube gets 40% or whatever, and just just send me some funds instead. But listen, some people want to do it this way. It's the ease and convenience and whatever works for you guys. So that's what we're doing now. So every 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 bit that goes to – so thank you for that, Check My Pulse. That's another $20 towards Bowls with International. By the way, guys, if the Pulse Foundation can raise a couple of hundred thousand dollars to bribe an exchange to be lit, to have Hex and Pulse Chain listed, only for them to have it pulled when uh, the SEC writes to that said exchange two weeks later, I will be very disgruntled if we can't find 15K for this. Like I say, this is total top slice sponsorship money. I'm paying for the entries for my team. I'm paying for everything. Yeah. I'm lucky. I've been in crypto since 2016. I've made a lot of money in crypto and things. I'm paying for all the horses and the trucks and everything else. That's why it's so cheap. All, all you're paying for is to have Pulse Chain on the, on the padded jackets, to have Pulse Chain on the hoodies, to have Pulse Chain on the saddle pads, to have Pulse Chain beamed out to, to, to on 100 hours of live streams and things. So just while we're talking about raising money from the community, if the Pulse Chain Foundation can raise a couple of hundred thousand dollars to, to bribe a centralized exchange to listers. I will be very disappointed, shall we say, if I can't raise a, the 15,000. 20,000 is better still, but 15,000 for this. Uh, 20,000, we can do even more, can lay on a bit more hospitality, things like that. But, you know, I'd be really disappointed. The, the ROI on this is insane off the scale. I challenge anyone. If anyone knows anything about ROI, wants to talk to me about the ROI on this, I'll challenge anyone to debate that. It's just absolutely insane. You know, it's absolutely insane return on investment. And what's going to happen is we're going to have Pulse Chain out there in a really respectable environment. You can't get more respectable than international horse show jumping. This is the same kind of crowd that that are sponsoring the F1. We've got the same sort of sponsors like Longines, Rolex, BMW, Porsche. We're out there getting Pulse Chain out there. Bet you Richard will use it and things. So um, if you can make a sizable contribution, please DM me at CryptoChat7. Please follow me as well. Please DM me um, if you just want to put $100 in now or something. And, you know, uh, oh, the other thing I sort of, and I'm leaving this now, moving on slightly. So I did see a big channel the other day saying, don't shill your meme coins in here. But if you do, don't shill meme coins in the comments. But if you do want a, sh a quick, you know, a little, a little bit of a, a little bit of a profile, you know, a little bit of visibility for your meme coin or something. Put it in a generous super chat, and so I'm happy to. And that's what's happening in this channel because people can see I get the views. I'm getting a lot of uh, DGen meme coin guys now trying to spam my chat, trying to trying to get their meme coin mentioned. I've got people coming in now on for the first time ever saying, "Why aren't you talking about such and such a meme coin?" <laughs> without a question mark. Why aren't you talking about this meme coin? Well, if you want, that sort of thing is going to get you blocked. But if you if you are balls deep in a meme coin on Pulse Chain and you and you want a little bit of, of cheap advertising, because I get the views here, we get, you know, normally we get 3,000 views. It's, latterly, it's gone down a bit, but, you know. If you want a bit of, pro, if you want a bit of profiling, put in a $100 super chat just then your meme coin gets shouted out. I think that's fair enough. And you know, and you know, any meme coin, you know, if you comes in with a super chat for hundred dollars, and what I will do is I'll put that hundred dollars straight into Bolsworth, which is Pulse Chain. So, in a long-winded way, what I'm saying is I'm linking now some shameless meme coin shilling with Pulse Chain promotion, 
because if you because if you are invested in a meme coin, you know, whether it's um cost Costco hot dogs. I've never had the Costco hot dogs myself, but I have had the Costco jacket potato and chili and it was delicious. Um Costco hot dogs is apparently a meme coin that's absolutely ripping at the moment. So if you want a little bit of advertising for Costco hot dogs or um teddy bear or whatever it is and i saw somebody wanting me to talk about teddy bear if somebody wanted me to talk about teddy bear if they put in a hundred dollar super chat i will talk about super teddy bear i'll talk about super i'll talk about teddy bear right now i'll look at the price chart for teddy bear and talk about it and that hundred dollars will go straight to promoting pulse chain now we've got a nice link because one of the things i've been saying guys 117 people watching now still fantastic i'm in the mood to talk i hope you guys are in the mood to listen i've just got a funny feeling based on gi analysis gut instinct i've been in a i've been in crypto for eight years i just got a funny feeling things are about to go crazy and of course we we, we know that other people are saying that as well we know ivan on tech is saying that bitcoin's going to be ninety thousand dollars by the halving that's 13 days that's a that's a ballsy call, isn't it? <laughs> that's that's bloody ballsy. I love that kind of thing, you know. <laughs> I mean, the, arguably the world's best crypto YouTuber with the most influence is saying Bitcoin's gonna be ninety k in thirteen days' time. Boom! <laughs> you gotta respect that, guys, haven't you? Even if you don't think it is. So what I'm saying now is, listen, we've got meme coin mania on Pulse Chain. You guys are only getting seen on X. You're not getting seen on YouTube because you haven't. You guys haven't got big channels and things. If you want, if you want some promotion, put in a hundred. That's what I'm going to say for a meme coin shout out. It's a hundred dollars on a super chat. That hundred dollars is going to go straight to Bolsworth, where it's going to be Pulse Chain logos. Because one of the things that I've been saying about meme coins is, unlike with Solana, where the meme coin mania on Solana has pushed up the price of Solana massively, we're not seeing that yet. And it's because Pulse Chain's so new. The people that are pumping the meme coins are the people just, just in already. When It's not new people coming to Pulse Chain. If anyone's got any evidence of that, by the way, I'd be very interested in that. But as far as I can see, so far... The net effect of meme coin mania in Pulse Chain is that the prices of PLS Hex, PLS X incentive token, or well, particularly incentive token, by the way, are going down. And that's because it's us lot investing in the meme coins. Whereas on Solana, people are coming from Aptos and Pulse Chain and Ethereum and um, BNB to go to Solana, to get Jupiter, to go to Solana, to get uh, Bonk and whatever other mega meme coins, mega meme coins they got going there. So, so it's bringing people to the block, to the chain, and that's why the Solana price is going up. Whereas so far for meme coins, so I've come up with this. It benefits Pulse Chain. It benefits the meme coin boys. You know, and if you have invested heavily in a meme coin on Pulse Chain then this is a good deal. I'm saying $100 super chat, and I will shout out your pulse, your meme coin. That $100 will go to Pulse Chain promotion in June. That then creates a link for the first time, a positive bridge between promoting, promoting the meme coin and getting Pulse Chain promoted so that the meme coin goes up in price and Pulse Chain goes up in price. Fantastic. Okay, there we go. There we go. Cookie de Chocolata says, my contribution for Pulse Chain advertising. I love this community. Let's get rich together. Fantastic, Cookie. That's absolutely brilliant. Me mega um, supporter of the channel. Always in bringing her positivity. That's fantastic. Cookie, uh, Gloria, Crypto Claz, um, Hodprol, other female hexagons that watch Crypto 7 are available. Fantastic. Thanks so much. You're up in lights. And... Um, I can't remember. Did I read out your your super chat? Check my pulse. I'm sure we had one from Check My Pulse as well. Did I, have I actually read it out yet? Where's it gone? I'll go to start. Here we go. Yeah, thank you. I didn't read out yours, Check, check My Pulse. I do apologize. Generous, generous super chat from Check My Pulse. It says, I challenge everyone. You're up in lights. I think you are anyway. You're not. You are now. 
Check my pulse. I do apologize. Reading you out now, friend. It says, I challenge everyone in chat to give what they can to help you reach your goal for advertising. I'll go first. Legend. I love that. Leading by example. Someone's going first. So we've got, I think that's $30, $30 raised in Super Chats now. That's going straight to the Pulse Chain promotion. If, 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 you're, um, if you're a DGEN meme coin investor and you want some mega marketing, just put a $100 Super Chat in. It goes to it gets you promoted here, but also you're paying to promote Pulse Chain, and you can say that you could make that link. You could you could go on to back to go back to your new friends on X, and say, oh, I've I've uh, there's a there's a, Crypto Sevens doing a hundred dollar super chat gets gets the meme coin some promotion, and that's promoting Pulse Chain. So you you meme coin guys can go. Don't tell me that this isn't promoting Pulse Chain because because it is because that hundred dollars is going towards the sponsorship for Bolsworth. Fantastic. 133 people watching now. That's absolutely brilliant. So I appreciate those super chats. And we got some yesterday as well. Uh, one, one was £100, which is about $125. So that was really generous. Um, so, th so you can see this is starting to make a difference. So we're very close to viability on this Bolsworth thing already. Um, and then it's just how much we can achieve. But we're getting quite close to being able to have Pulse Chain logos on these padded jackets and things. Um, very close now. And then um, if we can raise $20,000, then it's the full Monty of um, marketing there, including hospitality, including the, the, the beaming out of the Pulse Chain logo on 100 hours of live stream, banners in the, banners in the arenas and things like that. So, yeah, things, things, are going, things are going well on that front. So that's great. So. Let's see what else we want to talk about. How long have we been going now? One hour 16. Let's see what else I got. Well, I mean, this, this, the fact the bull market is going to be massive, I think, is, is, is the big one. I think that, um, yeah, as I say, Anthony Scaramucci is saying an $8 million Bitcoin in this, in this cycle, in this cycle. So by 2025, uh, Plan B is saying $400,000. Who else is talking about it? Um, yeah, um, there's there's lots of more bullish and bullish predictions coming. And the more we go into this bull market, the more that'll be the case. As soon as Hex and Pulse Chain start to really pick up, as soon as we have our first face melter, then lots more channels will be coming up with nice predictions again. And remember, the thing with making big gains in RH tickers is that you don't, you can go to bed at night and sleep confidently that it's not going to be 80% down the next day. But of course, with a meme coin, you can't, haven't got that confidence. So they can and often are 80% down when you wake up in the morning, or 90% down, or 99% down. So, and then, it, you know, at that point, you're sort of like, well, there's no point selling now. And then it goes down another 20%, and, you know, you effectively lost all your money. That isn't going to happen in the RH tickers. So if the incentive token is a, is a meme coin, it's a meme coin that you won't get rugged on. You won't get rugged on the meme coin. You won't get rugged on the on incentive token. Of course, meme coins you might get rugged on. But like I say, if anyone wants to come in, and so that's quite a good deal, I think. Um, I think, you know, $100 Super Chat, if you're coming in shilling without the, without the Super Chat, then you know you're going to get blocked, okay? Is that a fair deal? But, you know... Otherwise, you know, you know, this. Everyone knows the them's the rules. Everyone knows the rules, and um, them's the rules. Everyone knows the rules now. Good stuff. Um, let's have a look at what else people are saying. I think I've, I think I've gone through all my content. So that's um, that's great. Let's 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 connect up with some people. Do a bit of a Q and A. Do a bit of a Q and A. That's what George from Crypto Aras does. He seems to get about a million people watching his streams. I'm, I'm never quite sure why. And then he, he noisily drinks his drink, and then he takes about 10 minutes between. He just sits there reading the chat for ages, and then he'll like. And it's just, it's just, the view numbers don't go down. You know, it's just, it's just an, an extremely overweight Asian bloke making really noisy slurping noises, looking at the chat. Oh, he cracks his knuckles as well. I mean, maybe that's where I'm going wrong. Maybe I should start cracking my knuckles and taking ages to read the chat. CW says, appreciate your consistent support of the community over such a long time, mate. It has been a long time, but I think we're really close now. I really do think we're really close now. We just need a four or five X in Hex and Pulse Chain, and, and, and the whole thing's completely different. 
you know, I, I think the answer in the meantime is exactly as Mikel from Dollar Cost Crypto said. He said, just get off X for now. If you're not on X, don't get on X. Um, and, and if you are on X, try to get off it. You know? <laughs> but um, because there's so much negativity being talked, as I said right at the beginning of the stream, uh, a lot of people are now trying to take shots at Richard Hart. I mean, it's suppose it's one way to get attention, isn't it? But we're not going to go that way. That's why we changed our channel name as of today. We're now no longer Crypto7. This channel is no longer called Crypto7. It's called Crypto7 Team Richard. And so that's just a sort of nice, as I say, we're not going all... We're not going all pitchfork about it. We're just saying, look, we still just showing our support for Richard and trying not to cut across things that he said recently. Like I say, I, I, I think going against what Richard says, if he'd said it two years ago in a live stream is fair game for me. But if he said something recently, like we don't need a sex, like watch out for Ben Armstrong, like the incentive tokens going to the moon, and then the community acts in an opposite way. I'm thinking, hmm, I think we need a Team Richard channel. And there are other Team Richard channels like uh, ATX and Westcott, Pulse Nation, shout out to those boys. Uh, people like Crypto Class, shout out to her. There are lots of channels that are very much Team Richard, whether that whether it's they've changed their channel name or, you know. Um, and... Um, even that RH Max guy, um, by the way, uh, I think, um, I don't think he follows me on X, but I've been saying lately that I've I've come to like RH Max, and I think he's been a consistent voice. So if you are connected up with him on X, if you could mention that I've uh, been saying nice things about him, I, I gave him a bit of stick about being a bit boring and this sort of thing. And But I actually think that he's, as the as as a, as a community has become more and more un, unsettled, I think he's been a strong voice, and so you know I think it's a good thing to say, to change your opinions sometimes and to adapt your opinions and things. Yeah, you know? so you know, in the past I was critical of Somi and I liked that he turned his camera on, and I think that he's he's that's been a good thing. Um, and I've I used to call R H Max Max Sleepy. As people probably know, we used to call him Max Sleepy, which I thought was hilarious, but he probably didn't seem to find it very funny at all. Um, so anyway, if you could message and say, "Listen, uh, I, I'd even, I'd even have him on actually, and or I go on his channel because I think he's just been one of a, a, a quite a limited number of hex streamers that have sort of stayed the course, uh, not been um, affected by things, not been affected by the turbulence." Look, there was always going to be turbulence in Hex and Pulse Chain, wasn't there, guys? Metin Kapan says, yo, 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 with about 20,007. Thanks very much. <laughs> Say it in a super chat next time, Metin. <laughs> oh, I'm joking. That's good. Idea File says, the night is always dark. It's just prior to the dawn. Wow, I like that. I like that. The night is always dark. It's just prior to the dawn. Brilliant. Well, well said. Yeah, that's right. That's where I think we are. I think that... Um, just, and I think this is the thing I'm saying. I've said it a couple of times. I just got out of bed this morning with a funny feeling that we're about to um, to moonshot. Wow, so it's going to be a fascinating 13 days because we've got Ivan on tech saying that Bitcoin's going to be 90k by by the halving in 13 days' time. Um, we've got what's happening with uh, the ETFs is that um, Grayscale is selling less now. The amount they're selling is being overcome by the amount the other institutions are buying, like BlackRock, Fidelity, and ARK Invest. Those three and one others are the big buyers. But they're, they're, So we're getting net buying still, just that positive, constant, you know, overwhelming of demand in, in Bitcoin. So we could run up very soon. We're just, we're just trying to break clear of the... It's like a gravitational pull. The prior all-time high of 69K is like a gravitational pull. What's the current price of Bitcoin? 69K. Because we're just trying to break that gravitational pull, aren't we, guys? We just need more thrust. <laughs> we need more thrust, Scotty. We can't break that 69K. But what's really interesting is just how nervous the rest of the altcoin market is. And it's funny because we will alts were starting to really move up quite nicely, you know. Certainly, a lot of the ones that Crypto Seven's 
invested in. Things like Aptos and Sui and Say and Render and Injective. And Gala. Even Cardanzo's dumped a lot. I mean, this is what I'm saying, guys. If you're all in Hex and Pulse Chain, listen, we're outperforming them. This is this is on the week. Share this tab instead. Look at this is bloodshed. This is on the week, guys. I mean, Cardanzo's gone down a lot and it did hadn't even gone up a lot. <laughs> It's insane how much Cardanzo has gone down, considering it never even went up. It's just crazy. Look at that Gala. It's one of the ones that Crypto 7's invested in. Down 10% on the week, even after a green day. Bloodshed. Bloodshed. The months is looking a bit sketchy as well. Look at this. So... Did Richard time the messaging around Hex and Pulse Chain to sort of like get this out of the way while he suspected that we would be having this Bitcoin all-time high sort of consolidation or as we tried to break clear of the gravitational pull? So we're setting ourselves up for the face melter because we've now had a nice period for people to take profit, for the, for the weak hands to get out. Uh, more time for retail to start hearing about crypto because they started hearing about crypto when Bitcoin went to 74K and that's when Coinbase went up to number 44, I think it was, on the on the download list. So people were paying attention. They downloaded Coinbase. Coinbase then went back down to 61K and they decided they weren't going to invest just yet. <laughs> or they invested a bit and it's they're down now and they're not so they're not happy. Well, yeah, you know what people do. That's what how it is, isn't it? You you know you, you you dip your toe, and if the water's warm, you go all the way in. If it's cold, you step back out again. So they've dipped their toe. They've downloaded some 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 retail have now downloaded Coinbase. We know that from the figures. It's gone to top forty four. It's back out of the top two hundred. We know that when it's that when it's number one, we sell. We know that that's when the party's raging. We know that's when the girls are shooting vodka from their mouths into your mouths. We know that's when you don't want to leave the party, but that's when we're all going to leave the party, isn't it? Yes, guys and girls. So that's when. So we're not there yet. Um, so we're setting ourselves up for the face melter here with this. With this, uh, I think it's really, uh, really good. So that then that means you know we we've got structure um, and we're able to then push on to higher. We're just trying to break this gravitational pull, and when we do break the gravitational pull. I think it's going to pull, help to pull Hex and Pulse Chain out as well. So that's where we are. We've looked at we've looked at crypto prices. We've looked at the bubbles. We've looked at the fact that Hex and Pulse Chain have been outperforming most of the cryptos last recently, which is good, isn't it, guys? Um, and I hadn't shown that, so apologies for that. I'll show it now. So I've been talking without showing. That's not good. So yeah, so. Here we are, crypto bubbles again here, guys. You can see it now. So on the day, it looks lovely and green and things, but it's not really painting the picture because a picture is, if you look at the week here, red, red, red. And look at the months, and there's a lot of red as well. So this is setting ourselves up. This is why we're trying to break free of that gravitational pull, setting ourselves up with structure and things to go well beyond. Then presumably, hex and pulse chain, go with the rest of the market as we go into our first face melter, our first mania bit, which I'm predicting in the next couple of weeks or so. I mean, Ivan's saying we're going to have a 90K Bitcoin in 13 days. A 90K Bitcoin would presumably mean that alts start, all the alts start going back to their prior all time highs, including Hex and Pulse Chain. And um, Tangent says you can't do that. You can't, you can't say if this, then that. He says, and if that's, that's a fair comment and things. And he has called me out on that before because I say to, I say to him, so. Because I know also a lot of a lot of analysts are now talking about 150k Bitcoin is 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 on the cards in the next few months. This is a sort of like a target zone that the that the um, the analysts the, the clever analysts are looking at 150k or something. We're going to see this time this side of Christmas. And I'll, I'll I'll say to Tangent, so when Bitcoin's 150k, where's Hex and Pulse going to be? And he goes, well, it doesn't quite work that way. Okay, fine, it doesn't quite that way. I've got a balloon floating towards my head. Brilliant. I think we'll um, I think we'll leave it there. Um, fantastic. Thanks very much. Please show your support by subscribing to the channel. As I say, we do have some people that are subs that are watching but not subscribed, and um, that's brilliant. And, th and thanks very much, everyone. For um, I think I think I'm I'm here to hold your hand, but I think sometimes you guys hold my hand as well. 
And that's a nice thought to leave this on. And um, yeah, thanks for the super chats and thanks for the super chats yesterday. All super chats will now go towards Bolsworth International. If you want your meme coin shield, put in a very generous super chat around the hundred dollar mark. Um, if you if you don't want to pay, then be aware that um, meme coin shilling on here just gets you blocked if you haven't super chatted. And then the super chat goes towards promoting Pulse Chain. And then the, the meme coins can say, we're helping to promote Pulse Chain because we're going on Crypto Server and top three YouTuber in terms of views, not in terms of subscriber counts, but in terms of views and top three. Always been top three in terms of views. Top three, top four in terms of views, always. Um, yeah, we've got, we've got on Crypto 7 and um, we promoted this meme coin and we promoted Pulse Chain on the back of it because the money that we used on the Super Chat has gone to Bulls. So you get the idea, guys. Thank you very much, everyone. Um, yeah, hope people enjoyed it. Put in a comment on the replay and things. Helps the algo. I see it. Uh, I, I reply. That's how it works. You get the idea. Cheers, everyone. Bye.